Yeah. Back to that frozen. Oh uh, shit. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. This is Wolf Rider 750 here. We are on our way to pick up another load. We're about 15 miles away, 18 minutes to get there according to a GPS. We're still in, we're in North Dakota, so if you saw the last video about dropping up and uh, that winter storm that we got caught in, uh, this is after that. I'll link that one up in the right hand corner. If you haven't seen that video, you can go back and check that one out. But we are empty, going through this country roads here in North Dakota uh, from Grand, uh, what is it called, Grand Fork, going to Highway 94, head on, about 3.6 miles into 94, but we're going to pick up an oversized load apparently, um, just kind of have a little whiff of the notes a little bit before I took off, and it looks to be an oversized load on a preloaded trailer from John Deere. So. Um, it's gonna be an interesting load. Not sure what it is. I haven't done an oversized load since last year I will put that one up there as one of the carts up top if you want to see that video after this one Because um, I haven't I haven't done an oversized load. I actually didn't plan to record this one I thought this was gonna be a regular load to kind of give myself a little break But it's an oversized load so I got to bring you guys along and let you guys see what we got to deal with in an oversized load Every load is different permits and all that so we'll go over that after we get there guys say we're about 16 17 minutes away so i'll catch you guys back up when we get there it is windy we're empty and uh it's pretty through the country roads but this wind's not helping out so hope you guys can hear me fine we'll hit the intro and we'll be over there getting ready to pick up so see you in a flash all right guys we're getting here in a lot of locations where you have to follow the directions that you get from dispatch rather than follow your GPS. In this case, is they wanted me to turn to left right here on 7th Street where the GPS wanted me to go around somewhere else. So I'm going this way. And it looks like this road is not even on the GPS and that's probably why. It's a new road. So GPS is not always right and that's a video I gotta do. I've been saying that for like six months, but. <laughs> Definitely got to do that one. But I see John Deere trailers right over there. I think exactly where we have to go. But we have to go far side to the west side of the plant. So not this gate, but the next gate. But we're going to come all the way over here to drop our trailer. So this is uh, going to be a drop and hook type thing not the drive on way you know not the drop and hook that some other rookies do on YouTube this is not a drop drop and hook my way it's my way it's flatbed man there's a lot more things to do according to direction that's what he said go to the far west side of the building and then go to the north gate to get buzzed in so, so far it looks like I'm doing the right thing. Put ourselves enough duty real quick here. I gotta send the right ride at the shipper. Oh, gate's open. Because we're here, we can do you have six hours and six minutes of remaining drive PC time. instead of doing driving time. That's how you save your clock. Now it says, direction says go all the way to the east side of the building to drop your trailer. This is the east side of the building. I believe we're gonna drop our trailer over there and I got I got the trailer on my notes here I'm supposed to pick up and I think it's one of the ones that are, were on that corner we can't spend the night here 
stop here for a second because I want to look at my notes that I got from my DM. Only low no dimensions, not exceed 11. We go through the permits. North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan, where we're going. Banners required, all that stuff. We'll talk about that in a minute. I got an amber light. You will need to purchase a battery operated light for the rear of your trailer. You only need this light for Illinois. It's the first time I have to do that. Load information. Uh, we're picking up trailer 31567. looking oh huh? there it is there it is that blue one right there uh, it's just oversized just by a little bit on top I see that where I'm gonna put my dunnage right there in the front so before I drop this trailer I'm gonna move my dunnage first Yo. we gotta move this back out so we can put it on the other trailer where I'm gonna put my tire, I don't know yet. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Whoops, a little too much. The sun's going away. Which means it's gonna get colder. I don't got my warm jacket. Well, I got my felt water on sleeve. Nyla stuff, so. How's it going? Yep. Just noticed there that they didn't have anything on there, and I was just like, if them guys are coming tonight, someone's gonna get some paper. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's on, honey. Thank you, sir. gonna use chains chains if anything what's gonna use straps Dropping the trailer and he's so cold. Hope you guys can see. The rubber froze to each other. So oh it came off. That's Miss Nyla. Hi, say hi to the camera. She has a little sweater. We put her bed up here in the sea because it's too so cold on the floor at night she she won't go to sleep. Comfortable. Got one of the uh, blankets I got off the last load. I was using it, so we gave it. To, thought she could use it instead. I'm taking something like this. I haven't looked at the whole thing because my hands were freezing. Uh, no, my strap is kind of loose. Oh, I can't see. I have to get out and move the strap. I'm gonna move this strap so I don't have to on hook and crap. Like try to ease in just like that. Go check, be sure we're tight around there. That's it. No issues, especially with lights. I am gonna send a report for what we call a micro. Uh, 
have the lights on? I swear I had the lights on. Yep. No bueno. Uh, no lights. No lights. Looks like two more delights in the front not working. Nice. Now you say the lights are not working. Yep. There's some less. Shops left. Hopefully. So anyway, these marker lights are not working. So we said micro 18 like maintenance know that that's not working. And they can figure out whether they're gonna they're gonna send somebody out here. Not only is that not working, but I have no signal lights. And these recaps, recaps, these are recaps. I don't like that crack either. This one's not gonna be fun. We'll have to chain these. Two chains should be fine. It doesn't weight a lot. The whole the whole thing is 25,000 pounds, so. There's not a lot of weight, we're gonna strap the rest of the stuff will get strapped. So I'm gonna get on that and then I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Alright guys, I wanted to show you this. I'm up here because this is an orthodox not below. So I got the two front ones are over the whole thing in the front. Get pressure there. And then this one over here. I don't want to go over this these hoses. And I was gonna go under it, and then there's pieces here. But even though that's really strong, I don't want to mess with it, so I'm going under it instead and pull secure there. So there's a lot of uh, on and off. If you've done one of these before, this is my first time doing one of these. If you've done one of, done one of these before, let me know how we you normally do it. And I'm waiting on. See, these markers aren't working right here but those this one is that side is not they sent me a message just now because i got my earpiece on onto this stuff that we gotta deal with guys this is uh, unfortunately people that either don't report it or sitting here for too long they got all my stuff you know they want me to go to the loves that's what that was all about where we were last night where I'm probably gonna end up spending the night because it's oversized and normally oversized you can't move when the sun goes down so that's the crap we're gonna back up we're gonna back up there's nothing on the left or right on that side back there and that way I can secure more space because this is not helping this is definitely not helping so let me do that guys i'm just gonna move back and i'll be right back with you guys he's having issues with the third line Whew. i think his uh axles are this axle i can't see it from here i can smell the tire this axle his axles are locked yep his axles are frozen Oh uh, shit. Yeah. That's not how you do it. That's why you have about all this. Huh. You wanna spray some de icer? Cause they're moving. What's up guys, Wolf Rider here. I just want to take a quick moment to thank one of my sponsors of this channel and that is Trucker Path. Trucker Path is one of the tools that I've used from the beginning of my rookie career here at Melton and I use right now every single day. Trucker Path is an easy tool to download to your phone today. You can find truck stuff, 
parking locations, rest stops, Walmarts, and many other point of service that you can need at any given time while you're on the road. Make sure that you have Chugga Path on your phone. I have a link below in the description where you can download it. It doesn't matter if you have Android or an Apple phone, it's available for you. So make sure to check them out for yourself. They have added many different features and they got free version as well of the pay memberships that give you even more act and more tools as a trucker nowadays that we all need and we have needed access to on an everyday basis. So make sure to go check them out, guys. I just want to give them a trucker path a quick thanks for sponsoring our channel and uh, we'll keep on moving. So for right now, let's go back into creating some more videos. Right on the brakes? Yeah, just because all your asses are, are frozen up. You're, yeah. you're spraying on the germs and just you have to give it about 15, 20 minutes. Right. Just kind of push that down and twist it. All right. You want this back? Oh uh, yeah, when you're done with it, it's the only one I got. I don't know if I want to need it myself. All right, thank you. Sir. If not, I'll buy it if it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. I haven't even tried to move that one. I'm about back up, so I have more space to put the straps right now. Well, see, that's why you know I finally it's like bucket. You know, this is the second time today getting the trailer fucking froze up. Yeah. I yeah, this one. Make it up on the concrete. I got three, uh, three tires messed up on that one, and my marker lights not working, and signals on one side, and one one's not working. So they want me to go to the loves. To Where, try. Where's the love at? There's a new love just down right here off of 94. I want to say it's that way. Hopefully that works for him. I have to buy another bottle. Not the love for sure. You gotta help out each other, man. You just gotta help out each other. I'm the rookie. I'm the rookie. Hey guys, I get you. I know you got to get tired of watching me do this shit. So I'll be back next. Well, good morning, guys. How's it going? Sorry about yesterday. Uh, battery died, and it was minus 10 degrees last night. I was, I was trying to finish securing this load. It is next day morning. We are. We have a couple of issues with this trailer that we had last night. Um, uh, three tires well come to find out four tires one of them we have to change right now again because we found that after moving to the loves where i met the uh technician that came from loves from a different loves uh to fix the other three tires and further inspection revealed that one other tire had also a flat spot so this trailer is uh, no bueno especially for an oversized road load um I don't know if I said on the video yesterday if you guys caught it for this, but I do have an issue with uh, driver's side market light, clearance light on the front here and the back on the passenger side market light, the red one not working properly, well, not working. And then the uh, signal light marker on the middle of the trailer on this side is not giving me the pulse for the signal light on the driver's side. Uh, so a couple of things. Unfortunately, they couldn't get a tech out here last night that was available to fix the lights, so we didn't have to deal with it this morning. So that's going to delay the trip a little bit. Um, we're supposed to deliver this on Thursday. It's an oversized load. So a couple of things to keep in mind with the oversized load is that uh, you can't drive. Uh, you can only drive during the day, basically. 30 minutes after sunset and you can start driving 30 minutes before sunset that's the earliest and latest you can drive when you do an oversized load um, you got to stop in every scale even if you get a bypass it is a light load it's only 25,000 pounds so they're gonna probably gonna get a bypass several times but I still got to stop and go drop my permits unless they wave me by uh, so you still got to stop and do that every time on every single scale that is open so the only way you bypass it if it's actually closed um, so we'll have to see this load is going to Michigan uh, it's minus 15 degrees this morning here in Valley City it's super cold so anyway we're driving you know, watching the sunrise as the I head on to the Petro where they have a tech that can fix this apparently According to last night, um, and we're about 45 minutes out. So that's the update for this morning, guys. Uh, it's gonna be another interesting trip.
Good morning, guys. Ah, not such a good morning. Just follow up. I already gave you a heads up while I was on my way here. The TA didn't have a tech or the Petro. Same crap. No tech until 11, and there's two trucks ahead of me. Drove two miles to this boss flying jet with a boss shop. Same deal. Uh, they wouldn't get to me probably till like two o'clock anyway. Also, so I still need that one tire. I'm gonna show you uh, the tire part of it. So this is flat surface right here. Hope you guys can see. I'm gonna look at the phone. When I moved it, some of it has grew. When we got there last night and I looked again at the lows, look at that. Nothing. Nothing on that side. Nothing on that side, so gotta change that tire. And then this light right here. That one wasn't blinking. I just figured that out. And then I have clearance light right here that's not working and the one in front now this one I'm replace so my biggest worry was that flasher not doing the blinking thing the corner lights I replaced it once before and then this one in the front as you can see I already pulled it out wire is broken see I'll bust it out. All right, I got to go. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know I was going to update you guys tomorrow, but I wanted to take advantage that I'm still sitting here and talk about oversized loads or overdimensional loads and permits. One important thing that you have to do when you're doing uh, OD loads is make sure you get all your permits. In this case, I got about 25 pages worth so it's a lot of reading you have to go through this do not skip it if you skip it and you miss something or you go the wrong highway and you get stopped you're gonna be in big trouble so and so I got the permits and I'm, so I'm still sitting here we're almost done I think but we're not going anywhere as you can see outside the sun's going down so it's no point of me trying to move anywhere because there's no other truck stop for like another two hours so very important guys if you're doing oversized load or when you come with melton if you come with melton or any company you're with but just saying uh, melton specific make sure you get all your permits double check triple check if something don't tells you inside that you, you're not getting everything your dm is the most important thing uh person to have that communication with um double check with safety if you need to one thing different than my last oversized load was the i have to have an amber light uh where is it where is it amber light in the back of the truck so i got this magnetic uh amber light i'm gonna try not to flash you but it has two modes battery operated to put back there through the truck day of the i have to have that in the back of the truck we're almost done here and we're gonna outside and park uh fuel and park and then uh We'll see you in the morning. Well, boys, welcome to Wisconsin. It's Friday morning. This is what I came into last night. Well, yesterday afternoon before the sunrise, uh, sunset. So we're driving uh, an oversized load. It started snowing. It was like this kind of already. It's supposed to be clear today. The sun's coming out. So it's time to roll. That's what we came into. There she is over there. We're gonna clean a uh, little bit of snow off the uh, hood. Put our battery light in the rear. And uh, roll. It looks like they've been taking care of the roads this morning. Sorry, one-handed. So, well, since yesterday, so hope to make it all right. Just a little bit of snow. Just a little bit. Can you tell? What's it fell right there?
but the roads are supposed to be clear, so we'll find out. Let's get out of here. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride Bone pro, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, 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 three, two, one I fly till you can't see me So we go all in, all in. and one, call it. Numbers up and never falling. Feel like I hit the lottery and proud of me. Yeah. Yeah. No one big proud of me, so I throw proud of away. She know I stuck to the plan and I stayed out the way. Out now we're spending no money, never touching the bank. Touching the bank. Just from me the game and I'ma get, I'm I'ma get it done. Don't do it for fame, do it for the ones. For the ones. Ace was the star, my damage my lungs. Mm -hmm. If you want to drive, she get what I like getting money, I got time to get it Talking on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride Well guys, we finally made it to Michigan It is sunny over here, clear, but uh, I see saw not all the way here so uh before it's waiting uh, for instructions and get unloaded but before i take out all these oversized over uh oversized load signs i want to show you a couple of things on how i put things on in case any of you have a question uh in the future but all right so i'm gonna turn the camera around and kind of go through a couple of corners and kind of show you how i put these sticks so we get different types some of them some of these flags the ones that most guys, most guys prefer, and I have before, where they it's a flag and it has a hook on kind of the middle on one side. These are stick, and I was wondering how to put them on. Uh, and in the front, what I did, you got the oversized load that you have to put in the front, and of course in the back of your trailer as well. Not covering your license plate. I had to move my license plate up uh, in the front. Usually, you tend to have to do that. But what I did is I zip tied these to this bungee that this one came with this one came with a bungee sometimes they just have a hook then you have to use your own bungees to put them on around your bumper on both sides but what I did is I used the zip ties and I put them right there uh, and they held because the wind is hitting them but I, they held as you can see so on both sides it's the same yeah she's nasty winter time and then what I was trying to figure out really was these rows on this side uh, right here because it's just a stick so I had to put you up to usually the four corners or uh, per your permits the widest spot of the product that you're carrying if it's not on the corners but what I did is, again I did ask on the page I didn't get a quick response I got a response of unfortunately of oh I used the other ones well I have to use these so uh, what I did I figured out I just did kind of a U-bolt thing and just kind of grab the hook from one side around the pocket to the other so you guys can see that so I'll continue real quick yeah it's full of snow I gotta do this quick because I got it on straps so they can unload me guys uh, these got chains one side pulling in this way and then pulling the opposite way but like I said you got the uh, bungees on these around it's easy around the pocket and then hook on each side, put pressure on it. And you got your oversized on the back side. Again, not covering your license plate, but um, you hook, I kind of just hook the one side up here, then the one side over there, not too tight, and then I the bottom pull down. So, anyway, let me get on, let me get on, uh, start to on the, uh, unsecure this stuff, guys, so I can get unloaded and figure out if I'm gonna do a 34 up here or not. I already asked that question. This late afternoon. All right, see you guys.